नमस्कार आई एम प्रोफेसर देवदीप प्रकाशता फ्रॉम आई टी बॉम्बे वेलकम टू माई कोर्स बिजनेस फंडामेंटल फॉर एंटरप्रेन्यर्स पार्ट टू एक्सटर्नल ऑपरेशन इन द नेक्स्ट फ्यू मिनिट्स इन द शॉर्ट वीडियो I will introduce myself and I'll give you a little bit of overview about the course as to what is this course all about who should take this course why should you take this course what is the structure of the course and what can you do to follow up on the course starting with my own introduction i have had the privilege of serving in corporate companies in some of the leading companies of the world like procter and gamble and dhl for over 30 years in the past 7 years i am in academia with iit bombay at the school of entrepreneurship teaching and mentoring engineering students who want to be entrepreneur apart from industry and academia i have also led a global ngo for india for a few years impacting a lot of lives positively so with that brief introduction let's get into the course this course is being offered to all of you watching by some of the best platforms and institute in the world is being offered by iit bombay which is probably india's best institute is being offered on the platform nptel which is probably one of the most popular online educational platforms in the world and the course is being offered within iit bombay by the ds school of entrepreneurship and we have been offering this course to iit bombay students in the campus for over 4 years and we are now very happy to bring this course to you online in this platform why should anybody take this course and what are the course objectives as background businesses today are extremely complex companies are very complex entities and they have many aspects starting with a vision mission goal then going through the purpose values manufacturing quality control finance accounting then you get into hr and people management make sure that you are a responsible well governed business and then you move into all the external dimensions of marketing and supply chain and retail etc so whether you work for a big company already or you're thinking of starting up a business or you are an aspiring entrepreneur or a student who is trying to make a career choice through this course i'll try and help you give you a broader perspective of business so you can make informed choices about how you want to go forward in your career or in your academic next course i'd also ask you to look at the study by the world economic forum which is one of the world's leading think tanks in terms of what are the skills required over the next few years and 50% of the current workforce have to reskill themselves upskill themselves in the coming years and i encourage all of you to look it up yourself in the web in the internet so you do require to acquire new skills and through this course i'll try to give you some leads into what kind of skills then you can acquire so who should take this course first students students who are trying to decide on what to do next after graduation do they want to do mba if mba which kind of mba or a technical um, course or a humanitarian course or maybe just a functional course if you are already working and if you are working in a function you may want to broaden your perspective of other functions in the company and that will help you speed up your career and if you want to start up your business 
you may get a few pointers in this course about should you start your business, do you have enough skills and knowledge to start, and or, or when should you start. So these are pointers I'll try and offer you. How is the course structured? So Business Fundamental for Entrepreneurs is actually a two-part course. Part one was run in the previous semester and covers the internal operations of a company, like finance, like accounting, like manufacturing, like quality, like purpose and values and vision and mission. Part two, which is this course, focuses on the external operations of a company. How do you work with customers? How do you study markets and competitors? How do you distribute a product? What does the supply chain look like? How do you sell B2B or B2C? So this is what we'll cover in this course, which is Business Fundamental for Entrepreneurs Part 2 External Operations. And what are some of the discussion topics? So the next four weeks, I will take you through module by module in terms of how do you study markets, industries, competitors, players, products already that is existing. So if you want to start up, how do you find a niche in the market? How do you find a gap in the market? I'll then talk to you about customers and customer segments and how do you win with customers? How do you create great value proposition for customers? After that, I'll take you through value-based marketing. How do you create value for your customers? And how do you capture value for yourself? And then how do you communicate? I'll talk about branding and advertising and market positioning. How do you communicate your products and your brands and your value proposition to your customers? I will then take you through some aspects of selling, sales channels, how to distribute your products. What is the essence of selling B2B, which means selling to businesses or selling to customers. And then I'll talk you through how do you, how do, you do customer service and how to build customer loyalty. And then I'll talk to you about supply chain. How do you manage a supply chain to distribute your products, supply your products across India and someday across the world? So these are the, some of the topics that we'll discuss. And then what can you do after this course? So if you haven't done the first part of this course, Business Fundamental for Entrepreneurs Part 1, Internal Operations, you can do that. You can do other NPTEL courses which are more specialized. You can do courses in your own college or of course you can go and start your own business. So I look forward to many of you who are watching these videos to enroll into this course, participate in the discussion forums, give us feedback, engage with us, and then add value to yourselves and to your careers. And with that, I wish you best of luck and I look forward to having you in my course. Namaskar, thank you.